Have you ever experienced floaters in your vision? Did someone tell you that eating pineapples can get rid of them? Is that true, or is it just a hoax? To learn more, keep on watching. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Audrey Tai. Welcome back to my channel, I Channel by Eye Surgeon. I'm a board-certified and fellowship-trained refractive and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. I'm here to bring you the latest information on eye health and medicine. If you have noticed some tiny gray or black strings that are floating around in your vision, you're not alone. Those small floating objects you're seeing in your vision are commonly called floaters, or posterior vitreous detachment as the scientific term. In fact, floaters are so common. I see multiple patients every day in my clinic who come in because they developed symptomatic floaters. In today's video, we will discuss the nature of floaters and whether eating pineapples is really an effective treatment for floaters, and what are the confirmed effective treatment options for floaters, and when you should be concerned about floaters. So what are floaters? Floaters are basically clumps of collagen fibers formed in the jello-like material called vitreous gel, which fills the cavity in our eyes. Vitreous gel is composed of 99% water, 0.5% collagen fibers, and the remaining 0.5% is mucopolysaccharides and hyaluronic acid. Vitreous gel is usually clear and transparent. However, due to aging or mechanical factors such as trauma to the eyes, vitreous gel can undergo a process called syneresis, which is a contraction of a gel accompanied by the separation of liquids from the gel. As the volume of the vitreous gel shrinks, the collagen fibers embedded in the vitreous gel break and form free floating clumps of collagen, known as floaters. The collagen fiber clumps move with the ice, and when they are near the center of your vision, you can see them as gray structures such as bubbles, strings, cobwebs, or dark spots. Floaters are very common among people over the age of 50 and become more common as we age. It is reported that the prevalence of floaters is over 87% among people over 80. However, it doesn't mean floaters don't affect people younger than 50. I frequently see patients in their 20s, 30s, and 40s with symptomatic floaters. In fact, over 30% of the general population has floaters. Now that I have learned about floaters, let's get to the pineapples. Can you really get rid of floaters by eating pineapple? You may have seen some pineapple eating challenge videos on the internet or heard about people who reported seeing less floaters after eating pineapple for a few months. How did this all come about? It all started with a study conducted in Taiwan and published in 2019 in a journal called Journal of American Science, not to be confused with the more well-known American Journal of Science. In this article, they reported 388 participants were divided into two experimental groups. In experiment one, 190 participants ate two pieces of pineapple after lunch every day for three months, and the study reported a 70% reduction of floaters in this group. In experiment two, 198 participants were divided into three groups and ate different amounts of pineapple, one, two, or three slices of pineapple after lunch for three months and the study reported a dose-dependent reduction of floaters ranging between 55% and 70% in this experiment. So did these researchers discover a miracle cure for floaters in 2019? When I read the title of this article, just like you, I was really hoping that this pineapple treatment for floaters could be true. But after reading the study, I have many questions. The study was published in 2019, but since then, there have been no studies that were able to replicate those results reported in any major or minor scientific journals. Usually, when there is a new groundbreaking scientific finding that could potentially affect a third of the global population, that is something a lot of researchers would be interested in studying. And yet, there have been no studies by any other groups confirming these findings. Let's dive a little deeper into the study. The study's authors hypothesized that bromelain, which is a group of enzymes finding pineapple, breaks down the collagen fibers in the floaters and dissolves them. One important thing to note is that 
Many parts of our eyes are made out of collagen fibers, besides the ones in the vitreous gel that form floaters. Collagen fibers also form parts of the cornea, the clear windshield of the eye, the sclera, the white wall of the eye, and the lens capsule, the thin membrane that wraps around the lens inside of the eye. All of those structures and more are made out of collagen. If bromelain from eating pineapple can dissolve the collagen fibers in the floaters, why would it not affect the collagen fibers in the rest of the eye? By this logic, if bromelain can break down collagen fibers that form floaters, it would break down collagen fibers that support the normal structure of the eye, and the whole eyeball would melt. Another question that I had is that the study's authors reported a cure rate of up to 70% of floaters in a matter of three months by eating a few slices of pineapple every day. You might expect, therefore, people who eat a lot of pineapple would have a lot less floaters. However, countries with high consumption rates of pineapple, such as Brazil and the Philippines, to the best of my knowledge, do not have a dramatically lower prevalence of floaters. So if pineapple really cures most floaters, I wonder why we're not seeing significantly less floaters in those regions. I've always been interested in natural remedies that are effective in treating common eye diseases. And I actually also have a master's degree in nutrition. So I really wanted this study to be true. Unfortunately, after reading this study, I'm sorry to report that most likely more rigorous future data will likely not show eating pineapple can cure floaters. Also, please keep in mind, the natural progression of floaters is that they often get better spontaneously without any intervention because the clumps of collagen fibers that form the floaters tend to settle away from the center of the vision over time. This is one reason that regardless of pineapple, many people notice resolution of floaters over a period of few months. That said, pineapple is a delicious fruit. So if you have floaters and want to try eating some pineapple every day and see if that helps your floaters, that's probably fine for most people. But do keep in mind that pineapple is high in sugar content and is very acidic. So for people with diabetes or other medical problems, I would recommend that you speak with your doctor before eating large amounts of pineapple. Please let me know your experience in the comments below. Now we have talked about whether pineapple can really cure floaters. Let's talk about the confirmed effective treatment options for floaters. As I mentioned before, naturally, many floaters tend to get better on their own without any intervention. For majority of people who develop floaters, the symptoms become less bothersome after a few months. For floaters that are persistent over months, and especially if the location of the floater is central and obstructing the vision, limiting what you can see and do, your eye surgeon can perform a laser procedure called YAG laser vitreolysis in the office to treat floaters that are very well formed and with certain anatomical characteristics. In rare cases, a surgical procedure called a parse plane of vitrectomy can be performed in the operating room to remove the whole vitreous gel and replace it with clear fluid to remove all of the floaters. Both the YAG laser procedure and the vitrectomy surgical procedure have risks so please discuss with your eye surgeon if you are interested in having those procedures to improve any persistent and severe floaters. So when should you be worried if you are seeing floaters? Floaters are one of the most common eye diseases that can affect our vision. For the vast majority of cases, eye doctors recommend people who experience new symptomatic floaters to get a full dilated eye exam to rule out any tears or detachment of the retina. There are three symptoms you should definitely watch out for, and there are common symptoms of tears or detachment of the retina. Number one, seeing flashing lights in the peripheral vision that is continuous and painless. Number two, seeing a curtain or shadow-like image that starts gradually to block part of the vision. Number three, all of a sudden start developing a significant number of floaters like looking through a snow globe. While those symptoms are not inclusive, if you do see any of those three symptoms, you need to contact your eye doctor right away and get a full dilated eye exam. Do you see floaters in your vision? If so, are you going to conduct your own pineapple experiment? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you find this video helpful. 
If you have learned anything new, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Because if you click that subscribe button, you will help give me the opportunity to continue to bring free videos about eye health and eye surgery to the world. Anytime you don't have 10 minutes to watch videos, you can watch short fun videos about eye care tips on Instagram at Dr. Audrey Tai. You can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. I look forward to connecting with you there. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.